we got him. Friggin' awesome. Hey folks, Sam here with Sam Wood Outdoors. Here it is, the one you guys have been begging for, I don't know why. Everybody wanted us to do a deer hunting video. We never really had a desire to do a deer hunting video. Everybody does a deer hunting video. Um, but this year we got a pretty unique opportunity. We're in North Dakota and we're on the Fort Berthold Indian Reservation. This is where I work. This is in the, uh, the oil field, the Bakken oil field. I haul water here on this reservation. Um, so I, I, I know some guys, I met a guy, Casey Smith, and he told me about how I could go about getting a tag here for hunting on the reservation. Um, basically what we did, I think it was like March 1st or something like that, you gotta start calling. And uh, they put you, once they, you, you go through, your call goes through, they put you on a list. And whatever number you are, if they give that many tags, like let's say there's 50 people or 100 people or 200 people call, and they're only gonna give five tags, they just take the first five names. So you really have to be on your game and call. Uh, I was lucky enough, I drew a tag for a buck deer with a gun. Um, how this all works is obviously the first tags go out to uh, resident, tri tribal members that live on the reservation. They get first choice. The second choice is tribal members that live off the reservation. And then it's non-tribal members that live on the reservation. And then there's a guy like me who's a non-tribal member and a non-resident, I don't live on the reservation. But I, like I said, I was lucky enough to draw a tag. Um, what makes it pretty cool is I've never killed a mule deer, and I, and I really want to kill one. So we're going to go out here, um, we're going to go with my buddy Casey, we're basically just going to drive around, get out on these points, glass down in these big valleys, and, and see if we can find one. Now, I'm not going to shoot a little buck, unless maybe it's the last day, but I do want a good representation of a mule deer buck for being my first one. It doesn't have to be like a trophy in everybody's eyes, it'll always be a trophy in mine because it'll be my first. Um, you know, something that I can hang in the woodshed, tell the stories about. Corey drove down here, met up with us. We got three days to hunt, and uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna get started and see what we can see. And uh, it's like a whole new thing, you know. In Wisconsin, we sit in blinds, we do a little bit of walking, but here it's all glassing. I've never been on a hunt where like we just stop and glass these big valleys or anything like that. Uh, so let's uh, let's quit wasting time and go kill something. Oh. We just shot a, Casey just shot a pretty good whitetail. Come out off of this bluff here and come across the field. We were trying to tell him to stop so we could set up and get some video footage. And Whoops. His finger was itching and he, he got it. It's right up over this ridge here. We'll go up here and we'll get it tagged up and drag it out to the road. We can go up there, Corey. He, it's taking him longer to get his tag and stuff out than it did for him to pull the trigger. So look at the size of that first brown thing. He's a cool buck. He comes right tight together. If he wouldn't have broke that other brow tie, shit. That bastard. One, Ready? two, three. There we go. Yeah, tight. Yeah, he's a cool buck, dude. But if that would have matched that, phew. It's a good buck. It was a good buck. It was a, it was a heck of a buck. And then we got to concentrate on mine. We just kept driving around. First day, like I said, uh, I did shoot a coyote. Um, 
And then, uh, you know, obviously when you're on a deer hunt, you see a coyote, it turns into a coyote hunt. Especially when you're in the Dakotas, there's just a lot of coyotes. Uh, so the first day, was that was the big event. You know, we killed the coyote and, and Casey shot a really nice buck. Uh, day number two, we went to a different area. You know, just uh, the, the weather just turned really nice. The sun came out, the wind died down. There was deer running everywhere, just nothing big. Um, we did split up at one time and me and Corey were looking at his glass on us one thing and a, and a, a dandy, you know, I thought it was a monster, mule deer buck came out. He just didn't have no forks, didn't have nothing. Um, I kind of was like, this was early enough in the morning. We went the whole day and we'd never seen another really good buck. I was uh, just kind of bumming, you know. All right, so here it is. Last hour of the second day. And uh, we just pull up just like we've been doing for two days. We get to this rise, we get out of the truck, we walk out onto this finger and we're looking down in this valley and boom, there he is. Uh, Casey ranges him, he's uh, 500 and some yards, it's clear across the valley. Casey runs back, grabs a spotting scope, comes over, he's checking him out. Yep, that's the buck we want. He says he's at least a 3x4, might be a 4x4. Four four. But he's way across the valley, so we decided we got to get in the truck and we're going to drive way around and, and we're, we got the point figured out and, and it's just, here we go. All right, check it out. We finally found one. We found a good buck. Casey thinks he's a four by four or three by four. Uh, he's down in this gully and he's going up a big rise. And he's, so he's gonna be on the other side. Casey said we can get the truck and we can drive all the way around. And then we should be able to come out on the point and see right where they're at. So he's going to get the truck. We're gonna meet him right down here. Let's go. We're around the ravine. It, 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 it's like the uh, Christmas thing. I, over the river and through the woods to grandma's house we go. I mean, down some big ravines and up and we get around and we're to the point. This is where it's at. This is where the action's gonna happen. And this is where things kind of go crazy. And, and you know, we, like I said, we don't edit stuff like stage it, all that. We're not making deer videos for a living. This is just us and the way things happen. And uh, away we go. So we sneak up in there. We're sneaking along, sneaking along. You know, Corey's got this great big telephoto lens on his camera. We think we're gonna be shooting a couple hundred yards. Boop, there he is. 45 yards probably, not even that. He's right there looking at us. Damn it. Corey can't get him in the camera. He takes off running. My heart is like, just like, oh my God. And he goes around a point, Casey's over there and it, it, we see him, he comes out, you know, the does and a buck, little buck comes out and there he is. Give me, give me a step. Uh. And I mean, he is putting the berries to it. Now, I'm a whitetail hunter. Whitetails run like this. Mule deer? They bounce and hop and lope and twist. And it's all kinds of crazy shit. I got him in the scope and he's just getting ready to go around the point. I hit him and I hear the bullet. Whoa! Casey says I hit him uh, pretty far back, maybe in the leg. And I'm like, no, I think I got him a little higher up. He's probably in the guts, um, but we know where he's heading. Casey knows right where he's going. So back to the truck and around we go. All right, we're almost done. I know it's like, holy crap, this is a big shit show and we've been driving and running and gunning and, and but this is what it is. I, you know, we're not out here. We don't, uh, you know, we're not set up in one spot doing everything picture perfect. This is exactly how things happen and, and it is what it is. So, uh, like I said, we get around to the, to the spot and, and, and we're, he's gotta be here and it's wide open and we're looking and there he is, he's going up the hill, but he's struggling. Got him. Oh, he's, he's going down. Oh, he's going down. He's sitting down. Yes. That's awesome. I don't think he was going to make it up over that hill. No, he was really struggling. How far of a shot is that? 450 yards. Cheapers. Yeah. That's a poke, man. Five, 10, 15 seconds later, he's down and 
and uh, you know the high fiving, and we got him, and the hooping, and the hollering, and and uh, man, it's just freaking awesome. And then, so then we in the truck again, and we drive up across another ravine to get over there and uh, and do the recovery. Oh yeah, we get up in there and get around the fence row and. You know, Casey says, there he lays, and Koei just, he's just laying there, you know, his rack sticking up in the air, and it's just like the prettiest sight. And I'm like, wow, how cool is that? And he just like lays his head down, and it's all sticking up. It almost looks staged. Look at how freaking amazing. How do you find him like that? Casey says, I don't know about that. You better want to go around to the side. Maybe, you know, make sure he's dead. And I just get around to the side. and. I don't even know where I had my scope still on nine power. <laughs> Frick! Are you kidding me? Up he jumps and over the fence and I pick the gun up and I got it on nine power and all I can see is brown and you know you're thinking this is never gonna end. It's kind of turned into a little bit of a shit show but it is what it is. I mean that's hunting and long range shooting and uh, pow and down he goes. Game's over. We got him. Beautiful five by five buck. I'm so happy with him. It's unbelievable. Um, you know, we're just trying to figure out how we're going to cap this all off with a beautiful mount for the woodshed. And, uh, you know, I think I'm just going to have a, a pedestal with the buck facing one way and maybe the coyote that I shot facing the other way. I shot two sharp tailed grouse and put them in there. And, uh, you know, I'm just glad that I can't thank Casey enough. Uh, my first real deer buck, it's all good. I'm pretty happy. Um, but let me tell you, the weather's turning to crap. It's North Dakota, time to go back home, shoot some whitetails. It's gonna be Thanksgiving here pretty quick, and uh, man, let's get the hell out of this place.